Monday today and I am just about to head into the city. I am going to take you with me this week. I'm doing like a little weekly vlog because um, this week I have some exciting things uh, I think happening and actually very um, unlike me. Today I'm actually going, the first thing I'm doing is going to like a beauty salon to get my uh, eyebrows and my lashes. Um, I've only done it once and I'm not really like into beauty things but it is my birthday on Sunday and then we're actually gonna go on our honeymoon next week so I figured it's a little bit of a time to like do some like, glow up and uh, I don't know after the winter I just feel like so pale <laughs> so I booked this so that's what's happening today and then I'm also gonna show you my office in the city came into the city so early so I have about an hour so I think I'm gonna go and have breakfast so I didn't really have a good breakfast at home uh, sit and do some work I need to reply to some email because it's been the weekend um, and then I'm gonna go to my beauty thing which I'm a little bit nervous about because last time they made my eyebrows super super dark and I hope I won't look like a clown <laughs> afterwards so see you in a bit just been at my brow lift and I'm really really happy with how they turned out. I asked her to make them much much less darker than last time because I was a little afraid that they would get super dark. Um, so yeah and now I'm not allowed to use any makeup for like the next 24 hours which I had forgotten a little bit about uh, but luckily I don't have anything like really important planned for tomorrow. <laughs> I thought I would show you what I'm working currently but it's very very noisy so I'm not sure if this is the right spot to do that. I've got like, I think five or six projects going on at the same time, <laughs> probably even more. And I have so many ideas for things I really want to knit for the spring and for summer. But one thing I'm working on is this uh, balaclava, the gram or not balaclava, it's a hood. It's a grandma core uh, hood. Um, I've already made one in like light blue and then like in a navy blue color. And I really feel like making one in a pink color. Now it still looks like really weird and like a baby's hat <laughs> but I think it's gonna be really nice I'm using um, these Sunday yarns from Sunday's Garn and I'm really sad because this is a color that I love but I think they've discontinued this rose color and I'm pairing them with one uh, this yarn that I actually bought in Barcelona the Barcelona Knits Festival it's from Walk um, and I think it's like a Suri Alpaca let me just see it's suited fluff called Pink Candy. It has alpaca 75, 74% <laughs> and 26% silk. So it's like super, super soft. And first I was a little doubtful because um, they're not like exactly the same color. Um, like this one is a little bit more broken, I would say. And this one is more like bright. Um, and I was a little unsure, like if it looks a little dirty, but I think I like it because it kind of mutes the whole thing down a little bit. And this one pops it up. So. I'm gonna go for it. And then another thing that I have also been working on, um, and actually I have it with me because I'm gonna go and get some supplies for it, is this little crochet bag. Um, I've been seeing so many of these like crochet bags uh, on Pinterest and from like, you know, like brands like Gucci and Prada and they're so, so nice and I really want to make my own. So I've crocheted this and then I have this strap and I'm gonna go and get some supplies like some kind of metallic rings or something um, to attach the strap because I think that will make it go from you know kind of like homemade like in a bad way <laughs> um, to more like designery and I think I need to figure out 
like something I need to put something inside because I don't want it to be like a flopsy like I want it to have more structure so that's also something I have to think about all right, I am on the hunt for my metallic things. I uh, try to go to two craft shops, but they only have like silver colored ones, uh, but I really want to have golden ones. So I think I'm gonna go instead to a second hand shop and try to maybe see if they have like an old bag that I can use that I can get for cheaply and then I can use those metallic things. My little office here in the city I mean I still don't have a lot of furniture I literally only have like a desk and a couch there um, and uh, well of course I brought yarn here already but it's just been so nice to have a space to work in um, which is not at home so I can go somewhere and after the day come back home and feel like I've accomplished something <laughs> without being distracted by all the things um, at home Right now I am waiting for my video to upload to YouTube. Um, it's the vlog where I knitted this <laughs> sweater that I'm currently wearing. I think I'm going to be knitting uh, for the rest of the night. And I also need to show you what I picked up at that secondhand shop because it became a little bit of a haul. All right, here are all the bags that I picked up. So this was the first one I picked up. I think this has really good metallic little clips here. And then I found this one, which I think the bag is not my style at all, but has really good clips and has like four of them. And then I found this, I think this is so cool. Um, and it was only like 11 or 13 euros. Um, so this one I'm just gonna use. <laughs> and I also found this one, super impractical because it's so small, but I also think it's like really cute. It's like kind of plasticky, which I was really obsessed with as a child. So I don't know, it just gave me good vibes. So these ones were just very like impulse buys and these I'm gonna use for uh, my crochet part. Even though this I kind of actually like, but this one definitely gonna use these things. It says uh, Louis Vuitton on this, um, but <laughs> I don't think. Uh, this is a real Louis Vuitton. Uh, highly, highly doubt that. Perfect. Now I have clips. I am just walking home. Um, there's our home. Oh, it looks so cozy in the evening. And now I'm gonna go home, meet the cats and be with Yuki and knit for the rest of the evening. Oh, there's so much snow again. And you can see there's been, you can see, a rabbit. <laughs> and I also think it's like full moon. Hmm? It is Tuesday and well actually it's not morning anymore. <laughs> I am or I've spent the morning at home uh, knitting a little bit and Yuki helped me put up finally my uh, this yarn wall that I made. Um, so we got that fixed finally and now I am just heading into the city uh, to my office. I need to send out a pattern to the test knitters. Uh, I really want to get that done before we leave on our trip next week. Today I am wearing my Rebel Solvini in this really spicy orange color. I love this color combo and it has like a double fold so it's really warm which I really need today. <laughs> It's all 
almost 8 p.m. I've been sitting and working here uh, for the last couple of hours struggling with this pattern and I just feel like my eyes are not able to concentrate anymore my head can't do the maths anymore um, so I think I'm gonna go home now <laughs> and continue tomorrow I really wanted to finish it today but what can you do I'm gonna go home uh, relax a little bit and then tomorrow instead try to wake up early <laughs> and complete it waiting for the bus um, I have been brought up or I live my whole life in the center of Helsinki and just last summer we moved out from the center to get a bigger house and even though I love our home and our house the commute I mean I don't really miss that from back when I was living in Berlin and in these bigger cities I got very used to commuting a lot and this long time spent in the metro whoa, the metro and buses um, and now I'm back to that. I mean, I'm not complaining, but I mean, almost an hour to get home, especially when it's, well, my balance. Dark and cold. Oh, now my bus is coming. Last night there's been like some kind of snowstorm and it's quite cold inside as well, I have to say. Um, I am just getting prepared to do uh, an Instagram live. I haven't done an Instagram live for years. Uh, it's hosted by Sayewul. Um, they are a little uh, yarn dye studio here in Finland. Um, they have their studio in Porvo, which is a super uh, cozy little uh, city. Um, it's actually very, very close to where we have our summer place. So I've spent time in Porvo like ever since a child. So it's very dear to me. And last summer I also got to visit their uh, studio shop. Uh, so gonna do that in about an hour, gonna talk all things knitting. Um, it isn't Finnish, unfortunately, but um, if you understand Finnish, uh, you can probably go and watch it also afterwards at Saya Wool's uh, Instagram page. Um, yeah, so that is what's happening right now. Today I'm just gonna spend it at home. I'm not gonna go into the city. I have some stuff to do that I need to film as well for the Arctic Light Knit Along. I only still have one part, the third part, <laughs> left to film. So I'm going to try to do that as well, I think. Jotenkin laittaa, tai minä itse laitan jotenkin tosi kovat nämä niin standardit itselle. Ja mä myös siis syytän vähän sitä, koko sitä sosiaalista median maailmaa, sitä, että on niin hirveä tahti, mikä myös tavallaan mä tykkään siitä. Koska sitten jotenkin on silleen, että Aa, tekee jonkun ja eteenpäin ja sen niin kuin, että siinä on myös että momentum ja ihana energia, mutta sitten kun se kääntyy ja sitten kun ne päivät, kun oh, nyt kaikki tuntuu tosi jotenkin raskalta, niin sitten se, niin se ahdistaa kyllä. Ja, ja toi nimenomaan toi väsyminen, että ja se on vähän sellainen, musta tuntuu, että tässä ajassa niin sellainen juttu. All right, I've just done the Instagram live. Um, it was really fun. Um, yeah, after a little bit of always like a stiff start, <laughs> then I think it was really uh, nice. We talked for like over an hour. So now I am super hungry. I do need to film some stuff today, but I think we're gonna go and eat something, go buy some groceries because we're like out of stuff at home. Um, and then I'm gonna still film it. Uh, I hope I have Ooh, a bit more light. Um, so yeah.
morning. It is Thursday and I'm heading into the city. I am actually going to get my hair done, which um, is not something <laughs> I do that often, but I'm gonna go in and do a pretty major transformation. So I'm really excited, a little bit nervous as well, but I haven't like, dyed my hair in years. Um, but I really feel like, I don't know, like I need to change, I want something new. And then I thought, I'm turning 35 on Sunday, so what better time to do it than now? So yeah, very excited. I have just been at the hairdresser and I am so, so happy with how it, they turned out. It's much, much lighter, which I love. I couldn't be happier. I mean, sometimes when you go to the hairdresser, you might be a little disappointed and that has definitely been the case for me. But this time, I mean, he did an amazing job. I am so happy. And now I am rushing to uh, this book launch party that um, actually I don't know her. Uh, she did this book, but she is launching her book from the same publisher as me. So I'm gonna go there. Uh, I'm also gonna probably meet a couple of meeting friends. So it's gonna be a really nice evening, I hope. It is Friday today. I'm wearing my wishbone sweater. This is the one that I needed in Knitting for Olive. I have two wishbone sweaters. Okay, actually. <laughs> it was the first sample that I knitted. This was from uh, Sunday's Garn in Double Sunday, together with one strand of Knitting for Olive's silk mohair. And then this is Knitting for Olive's heavy merino. And I'm wearing this because today is pretty cold again. We are heading into the city. UK is gonna come with me. I'm gonna go to my office gonna see a friend for lunch um, in my new hair. <laughs> oh, I'm really, really happy about my new little hairdo. Um, and just gonna try to finalize some stuff because on Monday we're gonna go on our honeymoon uh, to South Korea and then to Japan. So I really want to get some stuff done before that. I think I've been, again, way too ambitious and optimistic. So I have like too many projects that I thought I would be able to complete before we go. I'm realizing like I'm not gonna be able to do that. But the one thing I'm for sure gonna do is I'm gonna finish my Arctic light sweater that I've done for the knit along today so that I can block it and I can film me blocking it. So at least I have all that material that I can then maybe I have to edit it and upload it to YouTube while we're on sort of our vacation, but that's okay. I don't mind doing a little bit of work as well. So yeah, that is what is happening today. Now I'm just thinking about what I will need with me when we go into the city. good to see the sun a little bit. I've just had lunch with my friend, then saw my mom real quick, had to do a little bit of errands, and now I have a coffee. I'm gonna go back to the office. Yuki's there editing his video, <laughs> and I have some stuff that I really need to get do uh, done. Yeah, done <laughs> today. Um, so I will hopefully be have a productive afternoon. <laughs>
it is a Saturday and had a very slow and nice morning. Um, it's coming down with snow crazy outside. I just finished my Arctic Light sweater. So now I am um, going to film the last part. So the blocking part for uh, the final tutorial. So I'm setting up my tripod here. I'm gonna film it with my Sony camera. Um, sometimes I film just with my iPhone, sometimes I use my Sony camera, then I also have a smaller like point and shoot Fuji camera, but unfortunately I broke the lens on that, so it doesn't really work at the moment. Um, need to get that fixed, but that is what I'm gonna do now. Then uh, I need to pack because we're going on Monday and I still haven't packed. So lots of things to do, but I feel pretty confident that I will be <sighs> getting everything done <laughs> today. When it comes to shooting um, knitting videos, I really like that it's so clear. Like I feel like now, because I am mostly focused on doing knitting tutorials and videos about my knitting, um, it's very clear, which I love. But there are a lot of like, um, sometimes I feel like it can be a struggle or a little bit difficult when you're showing a piece that you're knitting from the start to finish and that there's so many phases and then we're kind of knitting it and you're in the flow of it um and then you can't maybe go through the next stage because you're like oh yeah now i have to film this maybe it's late in the evening and i always try to have like good light and stuff so it's always like a very different experience when you are knitting something and also filming it at the same time um of course it's different when it's not a tutorial <laughs> but uh, at the same time, I really love it and I'm so just excited to see the comments under the videos that I've done like for tutorials, just people saying that they've got inspired and they feel more confident in knitting and maybe refound their passion for knitting. So that just gives me so much energy to keep on going and really trying to get better, get better quality out there, um, talk about knitting, sharing my passion and enthusiasm for it. Um, so yeah, thank you everybody who's watching my videos and commenting. All right, need to get my mic. I have this uh, new hairdo. Uh, I really like that it's a little shorter in the front here because I can do like these little squirrely, squirrely curls here. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna grab my fanciest mics that I have. I have these like roadie mics. Um, I have a couple of different, then I also have this mic that I use sometimes. Um, when I'm filming, um, but I'm gonna use this one for this now because this is highest quality. All right, I have blocked my sweater, I have it here and I filmed it. So now I'm very hungry. I think I need to like, grab a snack and then I think I am going to um, start to, I have so much there. <laughs> then I think I'm gonna start to uh, pack and try to figure out what I need for, for our trip. The most important thing uh, for this trip is, of course, what I will knit. And I actually picked up um, these lovely, lovely yarns. Um, so I'm gonna definitely do something with them. I think I'm gonna do a cardigan. So these are from um, this brand called Crea Deluxe that I haven't tried before. It's a Danish brand. And uh, I'm doing this in collaboration with my local yarn shop here that I visited on, I think it was on Wednesday, I went and picked these up and they're just so, so nice. There is a l super lovely yarn shop. They're so, so lovely, the owners there. Um, so um, yeah, I've got these uh, as a gift and I'm gonna do now a cardigan, I think, um, and write a pattern and just, I mean, this it, I think is the probably the softest silk mohair I've ever tried. And I think it's because it has 45% silk, 33% mohair, and then it has 22% baby alpaca, which is very smart, I think, because it's also a little bit less, like, it's not as um, fuzzy or it doesn't have as much, um, what do you call this, like, fuzz. <laughs> so I'm really, really oh, eager to start this project. I think this is gorgeous, gorgeous shade. This is shade number seven in both of these. Um, silk mohair and then I have this organic wool number one. So those I'm bringing definitely. Um, and then I think I maybe want to bring another project just in case, um, because this is something I'm going to be designing from scratch. So maybe I also want to have something that I've already done, like knit something from an existing pattern for maybe the times that I don't necessarily want to be like designing and I don't have that kind of mind space. So I think maybe gonna do another salty days cardigan or cardigan full the days sweater um but let's see
Good morning! It is my birthday today. I am turning 35 and um, I got a lovely little wake up. Uh, some croissants, some balloons. <laughs> um, and now I am heading into the city. I'm gonna go for brunch, meet some friends. Um, and tomorrow we are leaving for our honeymoon. So it's gonna be a really, really exciting two weeks ahead. Uh, thank you so much for joining me this week. I think this is where I will end this little vlog. I will definitely be um, doing uh, some yarn shop uh, videos from our trip boat to Seoul uh, in South Korea and Tokyo in Japan. So I'm uh, looking forward to that. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this week and see you in the next one. Bye!